AI is one of the favorite topic these days. Uh, as you know, the AI industry is going through a tectonic shift that is really defined by the emergence of these large AI applications. And as you know, what sets these large AI applications apart is really the large number of parameters that they have to deal with. Some of them are dealing with billions and trillions of parameters, and that number of parameters seems to be growing thousand times every three years. And what that means, it means that to deal with these parameters, you really need thousands or even tens of thousands of GPUs. And to connect those GPUs, you would need a scale-out network called the AI network, also known as the backend network. That backend network did not exist before, so it's a net new market opportunity for us. It's very exciting for market analysts uh, like me who have been tracking the data center market for a long time. But the traditional data center market that I've been tracking for over 10 years now is just to support general purpose servers. To support AI servers, we need a new AI backend network that has to meet new requirements such as low latencies, it has to be scalable, it has to be lossless, and it has to be high speed. Just to give some data points, uh, in the front-end network, when I do market projections for speed adoption, by 2027, only a third of the ports will be 800 gig, and 1.60 will only just be 10% of the ports. Whereas in the back-end network, two-thirds of the ports will be 1.60 by 2027, and all of the ports will be at least 800 gig. So this is just to give you an idea about the differences in the requirements and the speeds between the front-end and the back-end networks. Now, I been getting a lot of other burning questions in the industry about AI backend network. Everyone is trying to size the market opportunity in terms of the number of ports. Uh, is it going to be, you know, few millions, 10 millions, tens of millions? And I have an upcoming AI network report to, to track all of that. Another burning question, whether it's going to be Ethernet, whether it's going to be InfiniBand. I do believe that both the, uh, protocols will coexist. It's going to depend on the cluster size, the nature of the workloads, and customer distinct choices. So it's going to the market will be very fragmented, and I try to uh, look at all of the level of details uh, in the AI network report to try to to uh, explain to all of, uh, of all of the um, people out there who's trying to. Who've trying to make decisions about their data center infrastructure or trying to make decisions about the products for the AI uh, data centers.